Hi, this is Geppi Argenziano from uh, uh, Naples, Italy, and uh, I'd like to share with you the case of this 60-year-old uh, lady uh, with a suspicious lesion on her back, and uh, you can see clinically, but especially also dermoscopically, in my view, there is no doubt that this could be a melanoma. In fact, uh, that was excised and the histopathologic examination revealed a, uh, a melanoma 0.9 millimeter in thickness. So good news, uh, no ulceration, as you, as you know, uh, thickness, bristle of thickness and ulceration are the main uh, criteria to assess the, prognosti the prognosis of a melanoma from the primary lesion. Uh, so in, uh, in this case, should we do a sentinel biopsy? Uh, yes, let's say definitely in the, for the last uh, uh, classification system and staging system of uh, the AJCC, um, it's uh, sentinel biopsy is recommended uh, uh, from uh, stage 1B and stage 1B is whatever uh, is a melanoma which is uh, um, 0 0.8 millimeter or higher. And, uh, and therefore, uh, sentinel biopsy is, uh, is strongly indicated, especially because in the last few years, as you may know, uh, we can propose uh, adjuvant treatment, a, a, a very effective adju adjuvant treatment in, in the case of a positivity of the sentinel biopsy. By the way, there is another uh, criterion which was coming out from the uh, histopathologic report of the primary lesion, and this is uh, the presence of microscopic satellitosis. So basically, when there is microscopic satellitosis, meaning cells uh, uh, which are around the lymphatic vessels and disconnected from, from the uh, tumor body, from the uh, primary bo uh, uh, melanoma, uh, tumor body of the of the melanoma. Um, it, it, if there is this uh, satellites, it means that automatically um, there is an upgrade of the stage of this uh, of this uh, of this melanoma, and so now we have most probably a, a stage three melanoma. As you may know, uh, it's extremely difficult for the new classification system uh, to um, calculate. Um, uh, especially uh, the uh, various subtypes of stage 3 melanoma and this is the reason why we developed a, um, a calculator which you can find in the in the app store or the uh, on the google or the google play and uh, it, it's a very si uh, very simple um, small application where you set up the thickness and the ulceration as you can see here i was uh, i was writing uh, that the uh, thickness is between 0 0.8 and 1 millimeter there is no ulceration so this is a stage 2 1b it's a it's a uh, the t uh, result is t 1b and then for the n i was saying that there are no metastatic lymph nodes but there is uh, uh, in transit or satellite or macro microsatellite metastasis and no confluence of lymph nodes. So this is uh, concerning N is a, is a 1C and of course there is no uh, uh, distant metastasis so it's M0. So and at the end we calculate the final stage and the final stage is 3B. So it means that uh, we uh, can already um, uh, uh, let's say define this uh, uh, patient as a stage 3 melanoma and therefore we don't need any more sentinel biopsy. So sentinel biopsy is only needed to uh, understand if the lesion can be up, uh, upgrade, uh, upgraded to stage 3 and uh, in order to perform um, adjuvant treatment. In this case we all already have the possibility to perform uh, adjuvant treatment because this is a stage 3b melanoma and therefore we don't need sentinel biopsy. So it's, uh, it's extremely important to assess uh, the primary lesion, it's extremely important to think about the single case in order to take the final decision, in order to, uh, uh, to save uh, the patients from uh, uh, unuseful uh, surgical procedures. So thank you for your attention and bye-bye.